This is this is the prophet Isaiah. Okay, read. The spirit of the Lord is upon me, uh -huh. because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. All right. Now he said the Lord, okay, has given him the spirit to speak good tidings unto the meek. Who are the meek? Who are the meek that Isaiah is speaking about in the Old Testament? Huh? He's speaking of Israel, right there, brother. Okay. All right. I hope you got that. You got that for me in Luke. I right, bring that up. You got that for me in Luke. Read that again. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 61 and 1. Uh -huh. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me uh -huh. because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He said he's anointed him to speak good tidings unto the meek. The meek are the Israelites who will inherit the earth. Read on. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. He has sent them to do what? To bind up the brokenhearted. Uh -huh. He said he has sent him to bind up the brokenhearted. Okay. Read on. To proclaim liberty to the captives. To do what? Proclaim liberty to the captives. Now he's coming to proclaim liberty to the captives. Okay? Now I want you to read that in Luke. Come here, Spoon. All right, read that in Luke. Let's see what Christ has to say. Okay, because Isaiah said he's coming to heal the brokenhearted. Okay? He said he's coming to doggone speak, okay, and to the captives and save the captives. All right, let's see if Christ is speaking the same thing. We on. This is Luke chapter 4, verse 17. And that was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. Now, 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 wait a minute. Okay. Now, I come out to Christian church. Okay, and I was taught that Christ came with his own message. He came with a new message. All right. He, was, he received the book of who? And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. It's safe to say that Christ is getting ready to quote Isaiah the prophet? Yes or no? Yes or no? All right, all right. Read that part again. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. Read. And when he had opened the book, uh -huh. he found the place where it was written. Read. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. He said what? The spirit of the Lord is upon me. Read. Because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. To who? To, to the, the poor. He, he, he sounds like the same message that Isaiah was speaking. Read on. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. He did what? He has he sent me to heal, heal the brokenhearted. Broken it sounds like Isaiah said the same thing. Read on, King. To, to, to preach the gospel to the poor, he has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. Uh -huh. To preach deliverance to the captives. To do what? To, to preach deliverance to the captives. Are you a captive? Okay. Before what? Before you receive Jesus Christ. Give me Luke chapter 1 and verse 68. Okay? Give me Luke chapter 1 and verse 68. Okay? Christ said he's coming back here, all right, to free the captives. That's right. Okay? He's coming back here to free the captives. Hey, I'm going to give you a chance to speak there, my man. Okay? I'm going to give you a chance to speak. All right? So if Christ... It sounds like Christ is speaking the same message that Isaiah was speaking. Okay? So 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 where is this message coming from? 
Okay. Read that. Luke 1 and 68. Uh -huh. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. The Lord God of who? Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Israel. No, the whole world. Blessed, Blessed be, be the Lord God, God of Israel. Israel. For he has visited and redeemed his people. His people. That's a very possessive word. Read on. And has raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Who is that speaking? All right. That's Luke. Right? Luke would be an Israelite. Okay? And he's speaking from an ownership standpoint. A horn of salvation for us. Read on. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, uh -huh. which have been since the world began. He spake by the mouth of who? His holy prophets, which have been since the world began. Was Christ speaking through Isaiah? That's a question that I have. Was Christ speaking through Isaiah? I'm, I'm asking a question. You ahead, brothers, so, so are we, you brothers? Hold on, hold on, so when you, you get done, question, bro, when you get done, we're going to have a conversation. I'm trying to have a conversation with you now. No, you're not, brother. No, you're not. You no, your authority over everybody out here. You serve authority. That's what you're trying to do. Brother, that's a question. I'm asking no, you no, a no, question. No. He's not asking the question. Was Christ speaking through Isaiah? That's a question that I have. Was Christ speaking through Isaiah, brother? Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Go ahead. Brother, I'm asking you a question. Read the scripture again, King. Go ahead and finish, brother. And he has raised up. You're not going to dictate how I do things up here. If you can't have a decent conversation. Brother, who's about to go? You stopped us, brother. All I'm doing is you a question. You can't You took the mic from the brother right here. It doesn't matter, brother. And you stopped us. We're one man. Okay? If you want to have a conversation, we got to have a conversation. Okay. I, get, I get it, bro. I get, but you stopped us, okay. though. Hey, give me Nehemiah chapter 8, verse 1. Yeah. We're one man out so here. The question, so he asked what the gospel was, right? Okay, According to the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, uh -huh. this is the gospel. It says, verse 1 says, Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel, watch this, it says, which I preach unto you, which also you have received, and wherein you stand, right? Uh -huh. It says, by which also you are saved by the gospel, right? It says, if you preach, if you keep in memory what I preach unto you, unless you have believed in vain. Watch this. It says, for I delivered unto you the first of all that which we also received. It says how that Christ died for our sins according to the scripture and that he rolled, he buried, he was buried and rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Now you ask what the gospel, this is the gospel that Paul preached. And that the apostles preach. Now, the apostles preach what you're talking about, brother. Yeah. Show it to me. Okay. Yeah. Don't talk. I'm talking, from the book of Isaiah. Show it to me. Okay, okay brother. Chapter nine and verse one. Give me Romans chapter nine and verse one. This is the book of Romans chapter nine and verse one. Bring it up. I say the truth in Christ. I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. That I have great heaviness and continual sorrow and in my heart. Again from the top, King. This is the book of Romans, chapter 9, from the top. Uh -huh. I say the truth in Christ, I lie not. Paul says, he says the truth in Christ, and he's not going to tell you a lie. Read on. My conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Ghost. Read on. That I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. Uh -huh. For I wish that myself were a curse from Christ. So Paul says, I wish I can take on the same, okay, thing that Christ took on, which is dying for my brethren. Okay, read on. For my brethren. For who? For, for my brethren. brethren. Who, is, who is Paul's brethren? Read on. My kinsmen. His what? His my kinsmen. And who is a kinsman? A kinsman is somebody who is of your flesh. All right, brother. I understand okay. that. Yeah. So Paul is talking to Israelites. He's not just talking to Israelites. Read on. Read on. Read on. Uh, Paul is of the flesh. According to the flesh. Read on. Who are Israelites? Who is Paul talking to? Who are Israelites? Read on, King. To whom pertain the adoption? So the adoption pertains to who? Read that scripture. Read that again. Who are Israelites? To what? Who, who to whom pertain the adoption? Who are you, and the glory and the covenant and the what and the covenant and the covenant and the covenant plural the covenant read on and the giving of the law and the service of God and the promises and 
land of promises, so everything belongs to the Israelites. Now bring that out, King. Okay? All right? La -a. Do y'all keep going? All right, go ahead, King. Yeah. All right, so in, in the same book, in Romans chapter 9, right? In the same chapter, right here in verse 24, it says, Even us, whom he hath called, not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles. All right. That's scripture, brother. Get, get, uh, get John 7 to uh, 35. John 7 to 35. He said, read, read that again with what you brought out, King. It says, even unto us he have called, not of the Jews only, but also unto the Gentiles. All right, bring out what you got. This is the book of John, chapter 7, verse 35. Then said the Jews amongst themselves, whither will he go? That we shall not find him. So the Jews are talking, they said, where will Christ go that we, shall, that we will not find him? Will he go unto the dispersed? Will he go unto the dispersed? The dispersed are the Israelites. Among the Gentiles? You have Israelites that are among the Gentiles. And teach the Gentiles. And teach the Gentiles. So he's going to the Israelites among the Gentiles and going to teach the Gentiles. And then you know that the Israelites are called Gentiles. Okay, so in the whole, in the, in the New Testament, every time they said Gentiles, were they talking about uh, Hellenistic Jews or they wasn't talking about Jews, right? Right. So how do you. Not every time. Not every time, right. Of course, yeah. So right here in the book of 1 John, right? So, in the book of 1 John, chapter number 2, verse number 2, it says, And he is the propitiation for our sins. Who are, so, who is our sins? Alright, so 1 John 2 and 2, it says, for, all right, It says, And he is the propitiation for our sins. Who is our sins? The Israelites. Okay, watch. So, he said, Our sins is the Israelites, right? Uh, let's keep reading. He says, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. So this brother don't even know what he's talking about. What he's talking about, you know, it's only for the Israelites. They preach, they do it for everybody. All right, so, and so, okay, so, so let me ask you a question. Let's go to John chapter 3, verse 16, okay? Right, let's go to John chapter 3 and verse 16. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, John 316. Okay, because you're talking about the world, right? Okay, that Christ came for. Yeah, right? but this this is a different world right here in verse John 2. Uh, so yeah. when John when John speaks in uh, John 316, he's not talking about the whole world. He could not be talking about the whole world. Like, who was he talking about? He was talking about people in that time, bro. But if you read John 17, Hold on. John 17 is talking about the whole world, even okay. us today. John, John 17 is yeah. talking about the whole, the whole world. world, even us today. Okay, all yeah. right, get John chapter 3 and verse 16. Okay, and read that. This, this, this That's the first time I ever heard that, okay? That's the first time I ever heard that, 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 that God is not talking about the whole world in John 3 and 16. Okay, I agree with you that John's not, that he's not talking about the whole world, but that's the first time I ever heard that. Okay, all right? Hey, this, this is really bad right here. Okay, go ahead and read that. This is John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world. So God so loved the world. Okay. Now, who is this world? Hey, brother, who is this world that he's speaking about in John 3 and 16 again? Read it again. John 3 and 16. I thought you would have known that with my heart, brother. Go ahead. For God so loved the world. Who is this world again? So it's. So this is what I'm saying. It's not talking about, it's talking about every nationality. But when you talk about people today, you got to go to John 17. All right, all right. So, but we'll go there. But he, he loves everybody, bro. He loves everybody. Okay, come. Continue to read. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. All right, so we all know that scripture, okay? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Give me that in Hebrews, okay? Give me that. Hebrews chapter 1, okay, and verse 1, okay? Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 1. This is the book of Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1. Uh -huh. God, who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets, 
Pastor, it's making times pass by who? By the prophet. There it is again. All right, he speaks through his prophets. All right, read on. Hath in these last days spoken unto us by his son, uh -huh. whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the world. He made what? The world yeah. plural. All right, so hey, the worlds are plural, okay, in Hebrews, okay? So he made more than one world. Okay. Yeah, so he, he made more than one world. Yeah, you, you know what world they're talking about. Uh -huh. If you look up in the Greek, it's an age. So, bro, we, we got. So, we gonna have a dialogue, right. brother. Yeah, but hold on for a minute. I'll because you still ain't to touch uh, First John brother, two and two, bro. I read that. Book of John, chapter three, verse sixteen. For God so loved the world. That what? God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. Scripture before, huh? Isaiah 45 and 7. Never seen it before. Have you? So what does it mean? 
What you think it means, bro? It means the same thing that John 316 It don't, bro. So, hold on, hold on. So, 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 okay, so listen. Let's answer this question, bro. What? First John 2 and 2. All right, so first John 2 and 2. We're going to read it again. He said, and he is the propitiation for our sins. You said our sins is Israel, right? And then it says, not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. Also the sins of the whole world. Now listen, let me, let me, let me explain okay. something to you. Go ahead. Okay, so do you understand, okay, that in the book of First Kings, there was a split in the kingdom between the northern and the southern kingdom? Hold on for a minute. Let me, let me finish speaking, okay? All right, so when Christ came on the earth, all right, he's dealing with the southern kingdom mainly of Israel. So that's why he says Jews, and I'm, I'm going to prove it. Watch this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Read John 4 and 22. Hold on, listen, listen, listen to the scripture. Give me, give me a chance, my man, okay? All right? All right, I'm trying to explain something. I'm trying to explain something to you. You're not listening, okay? I'm trying to explain, but you're not listening, okay? There was a split between the northern and the southern kingdom, okay? They were split. So when Christ came on the scene, he was dealing all right, with the southern kingdom mainly, okay? It was mainly the southern kingdom, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Got it? All right? But the other Israelites, okay, were scattered abroad. Okay, so when he says the whole world, brother, okay, he's talking about, listen to what I'm saying. Now, 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 wait a minute. I'm not, I'm not jumping. I'm trying to explain this. Read this. John 4 and 22. John chapter 4, verse 22. He worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. That's Christ. He said salvation is of who? The Jews. Right? He said salvation is of the Jews. He's speaking to the Jews. The Jews are from the house of Judah which is the southern kingdom. Benjamin, Judah, and Levi, okay? The whole world that's being spoken of there, okay? He's speaking that the northern kingdom are gonna have a chance to come back in, okay? Now, now I'm gonna show you, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna break this down to you. Give me a chance, okay? I'm gonna give you a chance, all right? Now look, hey, show them the apocalypse. All right, see this book? Everybody know about it. We got the apocalypse. Do you acknowledge it? Not a scripture. Okay, why don't you acknowledge the scripture? Did Jesus quote from it? Okay, yes. absolutely. Where? Okay, give me that. Give me what that. did Jesus quote from it? Show it to me, bro. Okay. Why are you looking for it? I'm going to show you something. In the book of John, chapter 18, verse 20. Jesus answered him, I spake openly to the world. So this is Christ saying, he spoke openly to the world. I ever taught in the synagogue and in the temple. So then you know who was in the synagogue? Nothing but Israelites. So he said he spoke openly to the world of the people that were in the synagogue, which were only Israelites. It says, and in the temple, whether the Jews always resort to the secret. But he said, you know, he only spoke to the Jews. He referred to the Jews as the world. Are you? Hey, good precept. Now watch this. Now the brother asked me, now he asked me, now you're going to have to deal with this. Okay, because you claim that Christ did not quote, all right, from the Apocrypha. Okay, you're going to have to deal with this. All right? Hey, go ahead and read this. This is the book of. Matt, you pay attention. Matt, Matt, Matthew chapter 23 and verse 37. O oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets and stonest them which I sent unto thee, how often would I have gathered thy children together, even as a hen gathereth her chickens under her wings, and ye would not. Read it again. O oh, Jerusalem. O oh, who? O oh, Jerusalem. Who is Jerusalem? Who dwelleth in Jerusalem? We're talking about the Jews, the Israelites, right? Bro, this is there. Christ, right? right o oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets and stonest them which are sent unto thee, how often would I have gathered thy children together, even as a hen gathered her chickens under her wings, and ye would not. Give me that in the red book. I don't want to read it out at 16 11. Give it to me in the red book so they can see this. And somebody show it to them, all right? Somebody show it to them in their red book, okay? So they can see it with their own eyes. 
All right. All right. Seven One thirty. Read that. Second Ezra, one and thirty. I gathered you together as a hen gathered her chickens under her wings. But now, what shall I do unto you? I will cast you out from my bed. So, yeah, so, so when do we get to talk, bro? Are you going to acknowledge that? Yeah, that's right. Hey, man, bro. Yeah. I don't think it validates the whole problem. Uh, but we, we, we do. We, hold on. So, so, so we, do, we do read. First and second Maccabees and Ezra. Okay, so I understand. Good. Yeah. So let me, let, so, let me, so, let me ask you a question, brother. Hold on for a minute, man. Hold on for a minute. Hold on for a minute. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Give me that. All right. Give, go to Bible. Hold on, baby. Go to Bible. All right. The word Bible. All right. In the Apocalypse. Okay. Go to the word Bible in the Apocalypse. All right. And find King James Version. Okay. King James Version. I want you to start reading from here, King. All right, where it says King James Version. Read that. When Elizabeth died in 1603, the crown passed to James I, who had been king of Scotland for 37 years as James VI. Several months after he ascended the throne of England, he authorized a new translation of the Bible to replace the Bishop's Bible. And this is King James authorizing the, the translation of the Bible. Read on. 47 of the best Hebrew and Greek scholars of the day were divided into six groups. They were divided into six groups. All right? This is when the Bible came together. From the beginning. Okay? As we understand that before this, right, the Bible was in the Septuagint. Right? Okay. Three for the Old Testament. Two for the New and one for the apocryphal. Read that again. All these people just got distracted. I don't want them to hear it too. Read it again. Read that part again. Three for the Old Testament, two for the New, and one for the apocryphal. And there was there was a group for the apocryphal. Understand? Before it was, it was published in 1611. Now the Bible's published in 1611. 270 years later, after King James authorized the transliteration of the Bible, 270 years later, when the Roman Protestants are in authority, the Romans, okay, you know who they are, right? All right, they're your brother. They're your brother. King James was his brother, brother, too. Come on. Yes, it is, bro. Yes, it is. Hold on for a minute. We're proving the so point. So they think King Read James this. was a black man. Read this. This is the book of Re Revelation, chapter 22, last page of the Bible. So here's the thing. If this, if the, if King James authorized, all right, the transliteration of the Apocrypha, then this scripture was in there too. Read that. This is the book of Revelation chapter 22, verse 18. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. So if anybody adds unto the 80 books, the 80 books, all right, which was transliterated in 1611. If anybody adds into the 80 books, their name is going to be what? Verse 19. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life. Okay, so, so here's the thing. Okay. Talk about book of Revelation, brother. You gotta read it again. He said the words of this prophecy. You need to read it again, bro. Hey, get um, Isaiah uh, 16 and 34. 34 and 16. Just, just read it, bro. Yeah, so you don't want so, so listen. Y'all ready to go, bro? Yeah, because you don't want to. Hold on, hold on for a minute. Hold on for a minute. Hold on for a minute. So, Revelation chapter 21. All right. I'm good. Okay, so Revelation chapter 21. All right. And verse number, hold on. All right. So, in verse number, verse number 24. 
It says, watch this. It says, and the nations of them which are saved walk in the light of it. Watch this. It says, and the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor into it. Now, you want to know who nations is? You got to go to Isaiah. Hold on, hold on. Let's go to Isaiah 60. Isaiah 60. So they, they coming in the gate, right? Hold on, hold on. They are coming in the gate. It, it, say, it says that, watch this, hold on. It says, verse 24 says, And the nations of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it. In the light of what? They're going to walk in the light of Christ. Okay. Where's Christ? The law, statutes, no, no. Where, where's Christ though? The law, statutes, he's gonna be inside the gates, right, bro? He's, he's gonna be, he's gonna be inside the gate, right? Okay. In Isaiah chapter six. Yeah. All right. Hey, you finna run, my man? No, I'm finna go. Okay, we just finna go to Isaiah six. Prove it. Watch this. Isaiah six. Okay. We can't talk about all flesh. This book of Isaiah 60, what you brought up. This book of Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 1. Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and grow darkness the people, but the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Read verse 3. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light. And what? And the Gentiles shall come to thy light. The Gentiles are going to come to the light. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. Who are the strangers? Are the strangers the Gentiles? Okay, we're going to show you what the strangers can do. Hold on. Isaiah's going to tell you what the strangers are getting ready to do in the kingdom. Go ahead. Yeah. So when it talks about strangers, it depends on the well, in this, in this context, we're talking in the same, okay, talking yeah. the same chapter. True, yeah. It's the same chapter. Yeah, right. Okay. Read, go ahead and read verse 10. Listen, listen. It's Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 10. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy wall. And do what? They're going to do what? And build up thy wall. They're going to build up our wall. That's the reason why they're coming, okay, the unto the king. Way. Give me a, a, a continue to read, continue to read. And their kings shall minister unto thee. And what? Their kings shall minister unto thee. What does it mean to minister? What does it mean to minister? Serve. Serve. Yeah. All right, you're absolutely right. Give me Isaiah 14 and 1. Okay. Give me Isaiah 14 and 1. So I got a question. Hold on for a minute. I'm, I'm going to give my point and then I'm going to let you go. After I get done with Isaiah 14. Read that. Isaiah 14 and 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. He's going to have mercy on Jacob. Who's Jacob? The Israelites, right? Read on. And will yet choose Israel. Read. And set them in their own land. He's going to set the Israelites in their own land. Read on. And the strangers shall be joined with them. Now the strangers going to be joined with them. We already showed you what they're going to be doing. They're going to be building our walls. Read on. And they... Hey, look at this. Hey, why do we get to the dogs on the Why do we get to the juggles? They want to come with this device. Okay, go back to Isaiah 60, right? You said, hold on, so you, okay, brother, listen. So you said that that was the, a physical wall, right? You think that there's a physical wall? The kingdom is, so the, the kingdom is physical, right? All right. Okay, it's within us. But there will be, okay, gates or walls for There will be gates and walls? There will be gates and walls, all right, for our Yes. Okay, it's not going to be simple. We know that the kingdom of heaven is within us. Right. You understand? Right. Oh, all right. Why you gotta keep saying that? Why don't you talk? Sorry, it's all good. You wouldn't let him talk to you. I talk to you. Hold on, hold on. All right. Talk to our brother, man. All right, go 
Hello, Lana. <laughs> Hello, Lana. Well, according according to your according to your uh, according to your tour, you know what I'm saying you're supposed to let Edomites in your. Uh, yeah, according to the tour. Well, sometimes sometimes Christ said according to your tour. You know what I'm saying your law. All right, so according to you, you know what I'm saying according to the scriptures, Edomites can fellowship with Jews, right? Oh, did he? Yeah. All right, go ahead. All right, Deuteronomy 23 and 7. Uh -huh. All right, so so they think that the white people are Edomites, right? Okay, so Deuteronomy 23 and 7, it says, Thou shalt not abhor an Edomite. Abhor means to hate, right? Right, so do you hate the Edomite? I do. Okay, so you're going against Torah. Okay, hold on, hold on. Well, yeah, you're going against Torah. It says, it says but, but watch this, hold on. Hold on, so watch this. It says, for he is thy brother, right? The Edomites are the brother of the Israelites, according to, according to scripture, right? All right. It says, "Thou shalt not abhor an Egyptian." Do you hate the uh, the Hamites? Yes. All right. So he's going against Torah, right? All right. So watch this. It says, "Because thou was a stranger in his land." It says, "The children that are begotten of him." It says, "The children that are begotten of them shall enter into the congregation of the Lord in their third generation." So let the Edomites in your congregation, bro. All right, no, we will not. Okay, but hold so on. So he, he, he's breaking Torah. Right. Now, let me he's, ask you a question. He's breaking Torah. Let me ask you a question. All right, did King David break the Torah? I don't know. Okay, Tell me. Okay, go ahead and break it up. Psalms 139 and 22. I hate them with perfect hatred. Psalms 139 and 22. I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them mine enemies. Well, who's he talking about? Oh, y'all ain't doing the context, bro. You. Come I'm on. You. You're going way to the park, bro. No, no, go, go, go read the song, bro. Would you let me? Would you let me? No, read the song, bro. Come on, bro. You got to read this Bible, precept upon precept, line upon line. You win perfect.